Check one, two. Yep. Check one, two. Hello and welcome to Harvey Field for round one, Cottesloe versus Nedlands. Lovely sunny day here down at Cottesloe. Strong southwesterly breeze. Nedlands will be kicking off, running right to left. My name is Dame Pacheca and I'll be your commentator today. We have young Braden Lang here starting, going to kick off here. Young carpenter from New Zealand. His mum Sue will be watching at home. And best mate Jesse will be following too. Referee Cole Burnett just checking to see if teams are ready. And off we go. Deep kick down, no one's owned it. Nedlands chasing hard. Cottesloe cleaning up. And we've got a line out five metres out. Or a knock on, is it? Knock on. No, penalty, head high tackle, apologies. Nice kick down by Cottesloe number 10, Darcy Easton. And we got our first line out of the day. Strong wins here for the hooker, Shane Faulkner. Starting off with a five man line out. Captain Tobias Hossens calling. Up in the middle, takes it cleanly. Pass to the midfield. Big crash ball there on the big forward. Come around the corner, playing out the back. Number 10 there. Darcy Easton kicking downfield. What have we got? We've got a penalty here for offside for Cottesloe. Midfield. Cottesloe should plug it down to the corner where the wind's blowing. Got a good match up today. We've got a mixture of uh, young up and coming players and some Western Force. Some Western Force contracted players in Wilton Robolo and Will Sankey playing tight end at number four for Nedlands. Kick doesn't make touch, kept in there by James Petherick by the boot, but fielded by Cottesloe number four. Takes it into contact. He's held up. Release now. Cottesloe regrouping. Tobias Hoskins looking for a hit up. Shifts it on. Good ball there. Little line break. Good offloads. Oh, unfortunately, number eight there, Ethan Kalis, has knocked it on. Really good enterprising rugby there by Cottesloe. Short ball from Tobias Hoskins through to Misi Kamai. Lane number five. We've got the first scrum of the day. We'll see how the front rows uh, fare here. Big Kaiser Reedy, former Cresner player, playing tight end for Cottesloe. Up against the, the strong Netherlands front row with uh, the Brazilian Wilton Robolo, a tight end for Netherlands. Got Jack Farrell starting at hooker for the first time in, in Western Australia, coming from the back row last year. Set! Coming short side, Braden Lang puts a kick downfield. He's gone out. Line out to Cottesloe on, on the 10 metre line. Let's get out, let's get out! We're on the line, we're on the line. 
Blue. Goal open up. Got a five man line out here by Cottesloe again. So six man line out. Hold on. Thank you. Referee Kyle Bennett asking if he's in and out. Well, it's open. It's open up goal. Just sorting out the gaps here. Through the back ball, clean delivery. Half back has a snipe. Breaks one tackle, breaks two tackles. Breaks three tackles, four tackles. Awesome run there by the, the young uh, scrum half there. Unfortunately, Cotterbo have just knocked it on there. No, the scrum to Devils just outside the 22. Fantastic run there by Hunt. Very attacking run. First scrum was nice and stable. Let's see if we can get a repeat of that. Young Jamile Ross here for Nedlands going to feed the ball in. Fine! Fresh from Hastings in New Zealand. <laughs> Hastings Rugby Union has a strong relationship with rugby in Western Australia. They sent over James PC last year, who's on the bench for Nedlands. And this year, Jamile Ross is getting some game time over in Western Australia. Scrums are just resetting now. Crouch! Another strong engagement. Nedlands collapsing. Penalty to Cottesloe. Goes against the, the Wesley Force tight head there, Wilton Rabolo. Cottesloe here, optioning for the three points. He'll have a strong breeze behind him. Fairly easy shot, just outside the 22. A slight angle. Got Ethan Robertson, the fullback for Cottesloe, is going to line up for this shot. time here. Focusing on the post. It's a good strike. Has he got the accuracy? No he doesn't. Flag stay down. 22 drop out to Nedlands. Just showing you how that breeze there is pushing it from left to right a little bit. Just waiting for the, uh, the ball kids they must have slept in this morning. Braden Lang said to fetch it himself. It's gone deep. The fullback coming up, takes it cleanly on the run. Passes it out wide to the winger, who is intercepted by Jake McKellar. Feeds it to James Petherick. Fed it off to young Sterling McDonald. Pass off to Rabolo in the midfield. Another offload there. He's gone to ground forwards are regrouping here. Strong run by Sankey. Plenty of support there. Drake Robson has a hit up there. Penalty there, the Netherlands. Tackler not off releasing. Your feet, 12. Off your feet. 12 was off his feet. It's good to see Cottleso attacking the breakdown there, but they must stay on their feet there. 12. Braden Lang's found touch there. 45 from his own goal. Nedlands first line out of the day here. First line out for Jack Farrell for a long time coming from the back row. 
Marley May just feeds him the call. Sankey brings it down. Laying passes to Amariti. Well, forwards coming around the corner. Sankey, another strong run. Getting back the short side now. Farrell offloads there to the Brazilian. Rebolo takes it down. Jake McKellar feeds it out the back to Braden Lang, who unleashes the backs here. Justin Zietzman, the captain, strong run there, breaks one tackle. Hasn't got the support, but they just arrived just in time. Another run, another run by Sankey, involved early here. Cut out pass there, strong run by Jack Farrell. Good clean out there by Drake Robson. Oh, sorry, it was Rebola. Coming out wide, Sterling McDonald puts on the footwork. Makes some meters there. Go for the clean out. Solid run there. They're coming the open side now. Young Hecky coming over from Kalamunda. Son of Kalamunda great, Josh Hecky. Lang puts the boot through. There's some chases here. And they're beaten by the touchline. Off Cutters low, Netherlands ball. First throw by Farrell, he's just down the Thumbs midfield off. here. So they're Done. blowing time off. So I've been told the players to look out, look out for for Cotterzo at number 12, Gio Liwituala. He's a rugby WA junior that uh, went off to New Zealand, played in the Otago ITM squad, and now is back in Perth. Been training with the Western Field, the Western Force in the off season, and toured Japan with them last year on the development tour. So he's definitely one to watch. Got a couple of youngsters in Netherlands as well. Number 12, Amaru Iti, making his Premier Grade debut. Played in the Western Force under 19s last year, along with Billy Hecky, who's come over from Kalamunda, also played on some under 19 side. Referees blowing time on. Farrell's making his way. Seems to have a little bit of an eye injury. Let's see if it affects his throw here. Netherlands opting for the five-man line-out. Overthrow up the back there. Cleaned up by Cotters though. Bollocking run, bops, bops off Hecky there. Number seven there for Cotters though. Very strong run. Jiraiya Mua. And Netherlands penalised here. Seven, entry. Young Hecky there, just entering from the side there. Penalty to Cottesloe, just, just their defensive side of halfway. Oh, they've tapped and gone here. Number 10, caught him sleeping, pass it wide. There's their man, Geo. Gone out wide to the 15. Ethan Robinson, a good run out there. Netherlands coming up fast there. Hecky, a great tackle. Oh, a sneaky little George Gregan ball there to, to Misi Kamai. It's good running there by the Cottesloe forwards. Good clean up there by the 15. Passing out wide. Solid tackle there by James Petherick. Cottesloe cleaned up nicely there. Forwards are reorganising for the midfield hit up. Over there, he's gone through. Oh, there's a line break there. Number 12 from Cottesloe, Pierre Liatuala. That's the man I was told to look out for. And he comes up with the goods there. Scoring the first try for Cottesloe. It's great running there. Hard lines. And number seven there, Jiraiya Mua, heavily involved. Loves the carry in the one hand. Looking for, always looking for the offload and hitting the lines and finding the space. Fullback Ethan Robinson lining up for a kick, a little bit easier than his penalty goal attempt. He's still got that strong win to contend with. <coughs> As expected, knocks it over with ease because they've taken the lead 7 0. Netherlands regrouping there under the post there. 
making their way back. It's a good start there by Cottesloe, some great lines run by the forwards. A few missed tackles from Netherlands, they were probably looking to clean that up. Raiden Lang to kick, kick off again. Where's he going to go this time? It's gone. It's gone, deep. It's gone shallow to the midfield. Well taken there by Cottesloe. for Moore and Darcy Easton big clearance kick down found some space still the McDonald's overrun it there got the unlucky bounce there fielded it inside the 22 decided to have a run himself met by three Cottesloe defenders and driven in the turf good clean out there by Netherlands number eight Jake McKellar Hecky Hecky's having a run there held up but released Marley May caught the ball but had a rush, Cottesloe defender rushing up on him. Gave him no time there. Braden Lang reorganising his forwards. Farrell's having another run. Lang's now called for it. He's shifting it wide. Good run there. Shifting out wide to Zietzman. Zietzman's met by a couple of Cottesloe defenders. Ribolo, strong run there. First receiver. Going short side to Minkley, I think it was. Pass back to Hecky. <laughs> Nedlin's a little bit slow there. Cottesloe reaping the benefits there in the getting a ruck penalty. Nedlin's not releasing there. They've been quick to the ball there to Cottesloe today. And they're getting the benefits of that early. Man line out, Scrappy off the top there. It's come back. Oh, Netherlands knocked it on there. The double knock on. Scrum down Netherlands ball from the 15. So just outside there, 22. Lang organising his backs. Strong engagement there. Oh, a little bit unsteady. Oh, penalty Netherlands this time. Cottesloe loose head prop there, just dropping to his knee. Liam Sharples. Ribolo got the wood on him. That's one all scrum penalties. Oh, kick. Yeah, kick has made touch on the 10 metre line there. Very decent kick in these conditions. to his man Sankey, taken cleanly, passed out, laying out the back there to Tegan Minkley, Minkley having a dart there, stripped in the tackle by, by our number 12 there, Gio Luatuala. He's held up there, Moore's called, stripped in the tackle by Justin Zietzman, the captain from Netherlands. Fast line speed there by Cottesloe. Braden Lang's called it out to Farrell, that wide out to Marley May. The front row is linking up. May still going, very strong in contact. Got his support, ball spat out there. 
Shifted on. Drake Robson takes it into contact. Referee Kyle Burnett's blowing his whistle. Tegan Minkley's down injured. It's very unfortunate for, for Netherlands. Tegan Minkley's come back from two knee reconstructions. Not looking too good. I hope it's not a repeat of that. Coming straight to the sidelines. Not, not looking too good. I hope that it's uh, nothing serious here. Just huddling here as Minkley makes his way off. Having a little drinks break as well. Uh, Tyrell Martin has come on to replace uh, Tegan Minkley. He's got his head taped up there. I think he's a little bit confused. He thinks he's playing in the front row, perhaps. It looks like he's settled in there at fullback. Over to the scrum now. Nedlin's feed. Unstable here, so referee Cole Bennett blows it up. Has a little chat to the front rowers. Setting for the scrum now. Crouch! Set! Scrum's gone straight down. Penalty to Cottesloe. Ribolo this time. Down again. Second penalty against Ribolo for collapsing. It's like a great battle on the, uh, the far side of the scrum there between Rabolo and Sharples. Long kick down, found touch, about 15 metres out from Cottesloe line. Is that me? Faulkner going to throw the ball in here. Cottesloe perhaps setting up for a drive here. Middle ball, throws a bit skewed. Successful sack from Nedlands. Cottesloe couldn't get the drive on, but Tobias Hoskins has found his way, found a little bit of space. Nedlands player has been pinged here for not rolling away, so Cottesloe have a penalty five metres out. We'll see what they're going to decide here. The old front row of me would say have a scrum here. We'll see what Tobias Hoskins calling a tap. They're going to have a run, give the piggies a bit of work. Big Kaiser Reedy framing in there, doesn't get it. it was tapped, coming around the corner, Hoskins passes around, taken there. Big forwards having a few hit ups here. Big Kaiser Reedy's lurking, he wants it. There's our man Reedy. Can he get over? Just falls short there. Passes out there. Cottesloe. Big drive support there. Is he down? Oh, when it's blowing. Looks like it's been held up. Goal line drop out for Nedlands. Great support play there by Cottesloe, helping Kaiser Reedy out to try and get him over the line. I think it was number seven, Jariah Moore again. Tough kick here into the breeze here. Lane goes deep in middle, holds up in the breeze with the fullback. Ethan Robinson runs it back, taking the tackle. Oh, tough. Unfortunately, Amoridi was over the ball there but lost his feet. It's been penalised. Cutters have the penalty 
right in front of the sticks if they want it. What's Hoskins going to call this time? Let's call the points. Ethan Robinson going to line up again. 18 metres out directly in front. down here at Cottesloe on the hill enjoying the sunshine it was a great match up so far Robinson taking his time here it's a good strike and he's got the accuracy Cottesloe will go ahead 10-0 uh, minutes gone. Braden Lane to restart again. Goes deep to the left. Cotterzo sent it straight back. Fielded by Jake McCallow, just keeps inside, passes to the new man here. Midfield hit up here. Footwork by McDonald again. Gets through the contact. Cottesloe over the ball again. Stolen. Five. And then they're, then they're in French. Number five off his feet. Five is in field. Turnover was good by number seven. He's having a great game, Jariah Mua. Cottesloe unlucky there. Lang opting to go for the touch again. Gets held up in the breeze. Finds touch about 30 metres out from Netherlands line. Another five man line out. Farrell is asking to open the gap there. time they go to the front. Jake McKellar oh. takes it down. Pass out to Lang. Hecky hits it up midfield. Cotterzo on the ball again. Survives the clean and wins the penalty. They've been so good on the ball today, Cottesloe. There's number six there. Kick for touch. Finds it on the 22. in the middle, takes it cleanly, they form the mall, they're set nicely, they're driving now, starting to come around the corner, collapsed ball there was it, no balls balls there, balls there for the halfback, calls for his big men, Kaiser Reedy looking, shaping up, no, nope. counter ruck there by Jake McKellar, ball spills out. Comes in to play halfback. Tobias Hoskins finds a weak shoulder there. Hit up there by Kumai. Quick ball for Cottesloe coming around the corner. Loose head prop runs into a wall there. Runs into his opposite number. Rabolo. And Nedlands won the penalty there. Great defence. Multiple phases there and made no gain line. The defence for Netherlands has really stepped up now after missing some early tackles. Goes against Cottesloe for holding on, not releasing contact. Decent touch finder there. Line out to Netherlands. About 43 metres out from their line.
Headland's walking in. Another five-man line out. Farrell throws. Goes over Knox's head. But cleaned up there by Ribolo. Met nicely by Colosso defenders. Petherick out the back here. Rocket pass to Petherick. And he just spills it, unfortunately, knock on there. He cut his low scrum. Front forward. Netherlands haven't had many attacking opportunities yet in this game. Look, that was potentially one there, but poor passing let them down there. Great defence by Cottesloe, though, shooting up with the pressure on. Steady for Hunt, put the ball in. Netherlands getting the second shunt on there. Passing out the back. Good run there by Wipiri. Passes it out to Furi. Hoskins in the midfield. Goes himself, runs into Jake McKellar, who's over the ball there. Unlucky not to come away with any reward there. Cotterzo shifted on. Solid tackle there by James Petherick. Ball comes out to Kurukabaya. Kurukabaki, sorry. Short ball there for, for Gia Luatala again. Unfortunately, just loses his, his feet as he goes through the gap and knocks it on. Scrum down to Netherlands just inside their 22 midfield. that last one we'll see if we can uh, get a repeat of that. It's gone down again on the tight end side. Ribolo, third penalty for collapsing. The wind seems to have picked up quite a bit now as we've got on in the late in this first half. the accuracy again. Cottesloe take the lead, 13 nil, 31 minutes into the game. It's been an excellent first half so far from Cottesloe. Damaging attack, had some good steals in defence. Lang restarts again. Goes deep, hangs up in the breeze there. Fielded by number four, Sterrett. Met by a wall of defenders and driven backwards. Hunt passing back. Passing back to his 10, Easton. Puts on the boot. Jake McKellar's back to field it again. Charging back to big number eight. Taken, tackled well by Faree there on the wing. Max Knox looking for an opportunity here. Puts on some footwork, makes the game line there nicely. Farrell, good pick up there, shifts it out the back to the new the new guy, Tyrrell Martin. Hecky, another involvement there. He's been busy in this first half. Lane calls for it now. He's Senki on his outside, met by two defenders. Tobias Hoskins over the ball there. 
Ross passed it to Farrell. Strong run there by Farrell. Nedlin's there to clean out. Rabolo passing out the back there. Doesn't go to hand. Knocked on there. Scrum down to Cottesloe. 42 metres out from their line. Farrell's down midfield again with the with his eye. Potentially a contact lens issue, perhaps. I'm sure the, uh, the forwards are welcoming the water break, though. Another player to watch out for for Cottesloe who's been busy early is Jariah Mua playing at number seven. New Zealand under 20s representative, part of the Brumby squad and has been in Melbourne last year. He's now moved over to Perth and he's been called into the Western Forces back row cover. We can see why he's certainly a talented player and has a great involvement early on. Scrum down now. Farrell seems to have sorted out his eye issue. Solid engagement there. Again, it's gone down on the tight head side, but play on there. Oh, a lovely dart there by the number nine, Phoenix Hunt. And he's gone through the defender there and scores an awesome try. Unfortunately, missed tackle there by Nedlands. But he saw the space there, Hunt, and he took it. A great individual effort there and a well-deserved try. and lining up on the 15 metre just outside the 22. Robertson lining up again. Another solid strike and it's over. It was a great, great kick there. Had the wind behind him. He's got a solid left boot on him. Nedlands again running back to halfway. Lang looking to restart again. He's gone over the jumper there. Loose ball. Fielded by Cottesloe. Number 11, Ferri. Solid contact there. It was Kalis hitting it up there into Max Knox. Hunt just back there to his number 10, Easton. Looking for the run. Got through a couple there. Fazaridi oh, shifts it on. Got some space out wide here for Ferri. Oh, around the back pass there, Ferri. Mua there having another nice run, releases and gets up again and goes. Playing out the back there, tackled by Robson. Knock on there by Itty trying to, to field the loose ball. Colors will scrum down. Got Farrell down here, down again on the, uh, the far side. Sorry, the near side here. Clutching his eye again, I hope there's nothing seriously wrong there. Number six there, Ethan Kalis. 
Rockingham Junior, son of PG Hampshire winner Gavin Kalis. Played for Cotton 2019 and 20 winning premierships, then went back to the Coastal Cavaliers and has now rejoined Cottesloe again. He's had some good involvements and a very strong hit up just now. Farrell's back up. Getting some irrigation into him. Better scrum last time. scrum we've got options both sides here Hunt standing behind sorry Easton standing behind the scrum here Hunt looking to feed solid scrum there very steady Hunt's gone right don't go left to Easton Luma Tuala is gone passes it off to Wapiri and Wapiri goes over Great, uh, well orchestrated backline move there by Cottesloe. Started there with the dummy there by Phoenix Hunt. Coming around past the Darcy Easton. Found Wapiri out wide. He used his pace to get around the Netherlands defenders and score. Cottesloe starting to run away with a little bit here in this first half. Similar spot to where he kicked his conversion previously. Testing the wind. problems with that one there. Colors will extend their lead. The score is 27 nil to Cottesloe. Lang restarts again. Deep for recalls for it. Feeds in the middle. Out wide, Robinson puts it on the boot. Martin fields it there, takes his time, puts it on the boot, sends it back. Finds touch, 42 metres from his own line. Solid touch find in, in the challenging breeze. Throw it in now. Hoskins makes the call. Goes to himself again at the front, but tipped off there by Sankey. Bounces around a bit. Cottles though regain it. Mua gets it there, but met by a solid Net Netherlands defence there. The comeback short side. Gio Luatuala. St stolen there by Netherlands. Hecky shifts it out the back. Knock on there by Martin. Netherlands trying to make the most of the, the limited opportunities that they've had. Unfortunately, the passes haven't been going to hand. There's another Cottesloe scrum here. Midfield scrum opening up the options and see what Cottesloe have in their backline arsenal now. It's 
solid platform there. Ball picked up by Kalis at the back of the scrum, passes off to the fly half. There's Lua Tuwalo again with another solid run. Hoskins having a dart, beats the first defender and met by Jake McKellar. Quick ball out, Kaiseridi slingshots Kamai into the contact there. Got us a little bit slow to the breakdown. Netherlands get a uh, get a penalty 10 metres out from their line. Need to leave a bit of pressure for them. Braden Lang asking how long. Stiff breeze here, 30 metres out from their own line. Can't be too much left in this uh, first half here. Netherlands go for another five man line out, picking and receiving. Max Knox up in the middle. Messi knocks on the. Oh. Knocks onto the top of the line out there. Scrum down, Connor's no ball. down straight away, short arm, early pushed by Cottesloe, Netherlands tap and go, Lang feeds it out to Itty, Itty to Zietzman, the captain, support arrives, forward shaping up for a hit up here, Robson, Rivolo's having a run here through the middle, solid run, Cottesloe on the ball there, Kalis just lost his feet, unlucky there. We've got penalty advantage here. Cottesloe too quick off the line. Going out to Itty. Itty has no support. Support's just arrived late. McKellar, Knox, sorry, gets the ball there. Hecky having a dart in the middle. Puts on a bit of footwork, runs straight into Kalis, who holds him up. And it's stripped in there, but we'll come back for the penalty advantage. Cottesloe offside. assessing which side he's going to kick towards, opting for the far side into the breeze. Makes touch, 45 out from his line. Netherlands opting for another five man line out. down again, fake them all, Lang's got it, Amaridi onto it with pace, stripped in contact by Kalis and he fills his own strip. Oh, another strong run by, Net by Wapiri there and off to Lua Tuala, who goes in and scores under the post. Wapiri and, tu and Lua Tuala are certainly lighting it up this afternoon. Netherlands unable to come up with the answers here. I'm sure they'll be looking forward to the halftime break and coach Sam Raros here can rally his men and see if they can turn around in the second half playing with the breeze. go in 33-0 at half time. We'll have a 
little bit of a break and we'll join you for the second half.
strong lead by Cottesloe, 34 nil. We'll see if Netherlands can use this breeze to their advantage and claw back some points. Cottesloe are going to restart now, running from right to left. We've got some changes here for Netherlands. Melly Sipper has come on, number 18 for Rabolo. So hopefully you can solve the scrum problems that the Netherlands have been having. Apologies, no, it looks like he's come on for. Kick off there, st taken strongly by Stanky. Will Stanky, apologies. Rubolo in the midfield. Pass off to Amariti. He takes it in. Cottesloe like counter ruck. Tobias Hoskin comes away with it. Over the top there by Hunt. Good chase there, but couldn't, couldn't unfortunately couldn't take it. On there, the Netherlands scrum. Just want to shout out to Sam Diamond, former Cottesloe president, watching live uh, from Changi Airport. Hope you're enjoying the uh, broadcast there, mate. Early push there, short arm free kick. Taking the back there, Braden Lang puts it on the boot. Finds some grass. Kyle Burnett's put on a short arm free kick. Off, offside. Interesting one there. discussing what they're going to do, they're going to go the scrum option here. Looks like Billy Heckey is the one who's been replaced there by number 18, Melly Siffa. The Netherlands here on the open side. Solid scrum here by Netherlands. Getting a second shunt in there. Looking for the penalty, but they don't get it. Pass back there. On the boot. Netherlands fine touch, 25 metres out. Martin there with a kick. Cutters are organising their line out here. Another six man. Tobias Hoskins rallying the troops, making his call. to the front, overthrow there, nicely cleaned up by Kalis. Unfortunately, the throw was not straight. Scrum down, Nedlin's ball, 15 in. It's a good scrum there by Nedlin's there. They've certainly improved in the, so far in the second half.
Looks like no changes for Cotters at the half time break. Starting 15 remains. Hunt looking for his options. Solid engagement there. Cutters though putting the second shunt on. Unfortunately not pushing straight there. Sharples there penalised. It's been a tough battle here on this uh, Cotterzo loose head Netherlands tight head side here between Ribolo and Sharples. That time Ribolo won the battle there. Lang puts it on the boot. Finds touch with 38 metres out from Netherlands line. Devlin's just made another change here. Number 19, James Purcell on. Bit of miscommunication line out there. Cottles have come away with it. Looking on the counter attack here. Bit of space in the midfield there. Another strong run there by number 13, Kuriboy Kaya. Kalis beats one, beats a couple. Strong run there by Ethan Kalis. P drops, drops the ball, picks it up again. Another solid forward run met by Justin Zietzman there. Kaiser Reedy calling for it. Kurabaya beats another one. Another solid run. Mike came in for half back there, has put on the boot, dribbled into touch, 35 out. So I think number 18 there is actually James Pesse. Come on, that open side flanker. Farrell looking to make amends for the previous line-out. Goes to the front there, finds Jake McKellar knocked on there at the base by, by Ross. Scrum down here, Cutter's low ball. Hoskins in the air there of referee Burnett. Doesn't look like he's having any of it though. Solid engagement there. Netherlands trying to see the second shunt. Gets the ball out. Oh, nice hit there by James Petrick. Oh, number 12 there. Lila Tawala gets away again. Scores another try. He's having an absolute blinder today. Takes the lead at 39-0. Kick to come. Another fairly straightforward shot in front. Running into the breeze certainly hasn't faced Cottesloe yet. Putting another try on the board. Cottesloe had the two points there. really need to come up with some answers to the Cotterzo back line there. Then they're slowly making their way back to halfway. Lane 
Lang puts it deep. Cardozo send it straight back. Fine touch. 42 metres out from their line. Nedlin's making some changes now. Subbing on the, the new props. Big Tom Sheminant coming on for Marley May. And Millie Siffer coming on for Ribolo. No. Tom Sheminant's come on at hooker. Ribolo stays on. Marley May and Farrell make way. See what Tom Sheminant can do here at Hooker. Former Western Force prop. Sankey gets a hand to it on top. Bounces down for the new new man here. Sif, Sifa. Quick ball here. Ribolo has a run through the middle there. Lane calls for it out the back there. A little bit of space. Has a go himself. Taken down midfield there. Back to Ribolo, inside ball there. Sankey's through. Finds some space. Nedlands get there to support. Cotazo in over the ball. Another steal there by the winger. Number 14, Wapiri. Cotazo send it back. McDonald here on the counter. Taken in their midfield there. Cotterslow flirting with the offside line there. Pulls out. Ribolo, another hit, hit up in the midfield. Lang calls for it, plays out the back. Itty, unable to hang on to it, knocks it on. Guys are re oh, coming back here for a penalty. Cottesloe offside there. Guapiri's just down here in back play. So we'll have a Let's see what the Netherlands are going to do here. Told uh, big Melly Sifu has just come on here at uh, tight end. His uh, partner Michaela Phillips also plays tight head for Waikato in New Zealand. And I have to find out uh, from him who wins the scrums at home. It'll be an interesting one, I think. He's a big unit, looks like he can scrum and, and a hard ball runner. Sheminant here, looking to throw in. Go to Purcell, can't hang on to the top. Messi again, drop down for Ribolo. Kyle Burnett's got his hand out here. No. Slow ball here. Sankey, another strong hit up there. He's been one of, one of the best for Netherlands today so far. Come around the corner here, Pese having a run. Met by two defenders. Tobias Hoskins there, putting in the hit. Tom Sheminant gets the ball back on the short side. It's a leg drive going. Purcell having a run here. Driven backwards in the tackle by Cottesloe. They're relentless here in defence today. Big Siffer coming through. Just holds his feet. Gets a few metres there in the leg drive. Lane calls it now. Short ball to Zietzman. Zietzman's met. Cottesloe on the ball quickly though as, as usual today. They've been really quick on the ball. Unlucky not to come away with it there. Another hit up there for Nedlands. Purcell again, inside ball to Sheminant. Finds a half gap, goes to ground. Nedlands regrouping here. Siffa having another involvement early on since coming onto the field. Cottesloe on the, onto the ball again, but unable to hold their feet. Sankey again there, short, short hit up. Ball coming left here now, Braden Lang. Short ball to Itty, makes a little half break. Ball spills out the back there, Cotterzo through, ball's out, playing ping pong in there. Cotterzo, I think have come up with it here. Oh, knock on there by Cotterzo. Great defensive effort by Cotterzo there, Nedlands unable to break through the line. But they've got another opportunity here with a scrum. Just a little bit left of the post, seven metres out. Big Melly Siff has been, been busy early on. Let's see how his uh, scrummaging goes. Nidland's back line are all out to the right here. No guessing which way they're going to attack. 
Martins floating around the back. It's a big short side, but no one there to, to attack it. See, what's, see what Nedlands have up their sleeves here. Another scrum penalty against Rebello. Ribeiro. So Ribolo collapsing again. Telling the player there, Ribolo is going, switching from tight head over to loose head. Colorzo to relieve the pressure here with this penalty. Held up in the breeze, finds touch, 25 metres out. Hoskins gets the ball again, pass it down. Kalis offloads the new player here, number 19, Pat Mucker. Cutters, they put the ball on the boot there. Martin fields it, gives it off to Petherick. Petherick looking for some space. Beats one, Tobias Hoskin locks him up. Cottesloe on the ball again there. Coming out wide, Zietzman steps in field. Oh, Cottesloe come through the line here. And he's picked it up here, the winger, he's going. No, Kyle Burnett's called it back. His touch, he's giving a bit of uh, advice. The side entry there. Piri was away for all money there, he's a, certainly a speedster. On, Unfortunately came in from the side illegally. Yeah, let's have a good opportunity to get some field position here. Long run back after scoring the uh, the try after the rest whistle. Netherlands have a line out on the 22 now. They've been a bit scrappy here in the second half. Hopefully they can clean it up and get some good ball for the unleash their backs and give them an opportunity. Going to Sankey again. Netherlands put on the drive there. Pessy has the ball at the back. Feeds it to Tom Sheminant. Driving the bus at the back of the mall there. Cottesloe countering the drive, disrupting the ball. Sheminant's broken off there. Short ball there to Itty on the inside run. Cottesloe on the ball again. Kalis unlucky there. Purcell, midfield hit up there. Midlands, Braden Lang calls it. Unleashes the back. Seatsman, darting run but taken by Cottesloe. Lang driven backwards there in the tackle. Bolo's having a run through the middle there. Oh, Sifford. Coming back here for the penalty. Sifford unfortunately couldn't hold on to that one. Pass darted at him. Nedlin should have a good attacking opportunity from hopefully a five metre line out and see if they can penetrate Cottesloe's line that's been rock solid all day today. Best attacking opportunity the Netherlands have had so far in this match. Let's see what they can do with it. Line out's been scrappy so far. Taken nicely by Sankey there. They get another driving maul on. Robson comes in to help. Tom Sheminen there in the box seat, driving it forward. Cottesloe like coming around the corner, being told to leave it. Sheminen still got the ball at the back there, driving, and he's over. Netherlands scored the first try of the day. Excellent driving maul. Patient shown by Netherlands. They formed it well from the start, get the drive going. Big Tom and Sheminen comes up with the, the chockies there. The replacement hooker. The score's now 41-5 to Cottesloe. 
kick to come. Braden Lang has some kicking duties today. Quite a tough shot for him first up. We'll see how he goes. Braden Lang just come over from Central Otago. His father played for Netherlands in, in the early 90s, so he's following in his dad's footsteps, which is good to see. Settling in well to the Perth lifestyle. Working hard as a chippy, enjoying the sun. Lining up for his first shot of the day. just comes off the pole and bounces over. Successful conversion attempt there by Braden Lang. Takes the score to 41 to 7. Just apologies for the uh, the graphics on screen there. We're just having some technical difficulties with the, uh, the team here working on it. About 20 minutes into the, the second half here. here for Cottesloe. Goes deep. Lang lets it bounce. Gets an ugly bounce. Fielded by McDonald. Met by Cottesloe defender there. Lang's regrouping here. Calls for his forwards to take a hit up. Ribolo in midfield. Lang's ready for it now. Puts it on the boot. High bomb there. Fielded by Pethrick on the wing there and he's away. Zietzman unfortunately go, doesn't go to hand there and goes out. Colors they may have the choice between a scrum and a line out perhaps knocked on into touch. Colors have opted for the scrum. Interesting option there by Nedlands going for the uh, the crossfield kick rather than the territory. I'm not sure if he mishit that there or if it was planned, but Petrick was there waiting for it and unfortunately couldn't get the hands to Zietzman. Tom Sherman having some words with the referee there. Jamie Drummond's come on for Cottesloe here at halfback. Feeds the ball in. Cottesloe, big shove there. Drummond gets the ball out. Oh, another darting run there by the, the centre, Louis Tuala. Big clean out there coming from Netherlands. Bit argy bargy. Tobias Hoskins didn't like that one. Found some space here. out from the try line. Cottesloe regroup. Tobias Hoskins shifts it on. Just short there. Coming short side here. Kyle Bennett blows his whistle for a penalty. Oh, for try, sorry. Apologies. No penalty, was it? Apologies, my uh, viewers have struck a little bit here. Cotter going for the quick tap here. There's the man for it. Oh, they've got multiple penalty advantages to choose from. They've chosen one centre field a bit more. Tobias Hoskins has a run. Gets the ball to Kalis. Hits it with pace. Kalis just short. Comes around the corner to the new. The new prop on the field here, Mikey Walker. 
only on the field for a couple of minutes and gets his first meat pie of the afternoon. Colors over rel relentless pressure today. Pace scored a 46-7 with a kick to come. You've got to be happy with that big Mikey Walker. Only been on the field a couple of minutes. Gets on the end of it. A nice ball there. Breaks the line and scores a try. Darcy Easton's now got the kicking duties. Colors have made some changes here. Interesting one, Jamie Drummond just come on at halfback. His father, Mark Drummond, uh, Netherlands player and uh, legend of the game. Sees his son playing for Cottesloe. I see him down here, he's still wearing his Netherlands shirt though. But no doubt cheering his son on. Easton just pushes that across the faces into that breeze. It's quite different. Remains 46-7, 26 minutes into the second half. They can find some grass, fielded by Sterrett. Put on the boot there by Easton. Bounces for touch. Jake McCallow just steps into touch there. Cottesloe go for a quick line out. No. Line out was formed, says referee Kyle Burnett. So Cottles are opting for a seven man line out here. Hoskins making the call. Calls himself, he's been solid all day today. Hoskins in the line out. Drummond. Passes a bit wayward there, picked up by Amoriti in the midfield for Netherlands. Colazo trying to over, get over the ball there. Quick shift there by Ribolo. Ball goes out wide. Petherick having a run. Again, sol solid uh, ruck work by Colazo, making a nuisance there. Ribolo, another hit up there. Robson on his own here. Needs some support, Siffer gets there. Lang calls for it now, pass to Itty. Holds onto it, met by solid tackle, offloads there to Lang. The Lang has the ball stripped, finds McDonald. McDonald bounces off Kalis. Kalis gets him a second time. The tackle. Ball out to Sankey, passing it wide to Ribolo, over the top there, cut out pass. Finds Petrick out wide, but unfortunately a forward pass there for Nedlands. Just can't get any luck out there. Relentless defence by Cottesloe again there. Attacking the breakdown, slowing the ball down. We'll have a scrum, Colorzoe ball. 15 metres in from touch. Defeat the scrum here. Solid engagement. Big shove by Nedlands. Coming away with a penalty there. Nedlands certainly got it, got the hang of that one there. Big hit. Chase their feet. Collers I couldn't handle the pressure there. Fold it back. Netherlands win the scrum penalty. Braden Lake puts it into touch. Ten metres out from Netherlands line. Big scrum 
in there by Siffer and Rebello. Ball comes down. Driving Maul there. Nedlin's looking for another another solid drive here. Sheminant's got it back in the boot, driving him forward. Maul's gone down there. Take, taken down by Nedlin's. Collapse Maul there, Cottesloe ball. Great Maul defence there by Cottesloe. Nedlin's just lost a little bit of structure there. Brought them all down. Cottesloe shut it down. And they've won the scrum feed. Let's see if Nedlin's going to have another big scrum here and try and win the ball back. Blows it up here, wants a reset, not happy with the stability there. Both front runners now resetting. Wind starting to pick up a bit more now. Solid engagement here. The referees, Kyle's bowing up again. Both sides collapsed, I think. Looks like we'll go for another scrum reset here. Solid platform there, not moving at all. Just collapsed a little bit, ball get, comes out by Drummond. Gets it away here. Darting run there by Cotazo Winger. It's been re new replacement on the field. Oh, solid tackle there by Amariti. Space out wide here if Cotazo can shift it, and they can. Draw and pass it. Oh, unlucky there. Just didn't go to hand there. Had a two on one. Unlucky, well done, Sam. Two It's taking some big heavy breaths right now, a bit of water coming on. Cosmo making another replacement. Looks like club stalwart Sasha Holloway coming on here. Subbing off the captain Tobias Hoskins. Is he? No, just saying hello. He's a friendly man, Tobias. Looks like Holloway is on for Miso Kamai in the second row. Kamai's had a very solid game. Been a terror at the breakdown. Got some strong carries, always got a strong offload game too. Tom Sheminant was just getting some treatment there in the backfield. Making his way over to the scrum now. Tom Sherman is sucking in the big ones, making his way over. Evans has got 
the scrum feed here on the 10 metre line, on their attacking 10 metre line. Burnett giving instru instructions to the front rows there. Roach! Five! Ross feeding the ball in now. Goes out to Lang. Passes to Indy. Short ball to Zietzman. Goes, goes to ground again there. Well, Netherlands haven't had much opportunities to unleash their back line today, and unfortunately, handling errors are certainly letting them down. over scrum, midfield scrum, 42 metres out from their own line. Cottesloe have multiple opportunities in the back line here. Got two attackers either side, with the full back hanging in the middle. Which way they're going to go. We've seen Kayla shift it from the back of the scrum before. Good penalty there, quick tap by Kayla. And he's away, looking for some support. Pass doesn't go to hand. Cottles are having to trace, trace back. Zietzman up there to make the tackle. Out oh, goal! Hit up there by number four. Cottles are stare it. Hoskins out the back, Ribolo shot up out of the line, so did Itty. Unlucky for Cotters though, the pass went forward. They were away there, defenders shot up. And the new man in the centre there, unfortunately, I don't know his name, number 25, was through the gap there and he was away for all money. A lucky escape there for Netherlands. Closing to the last few minutes of the game here. One of the Cottesloe players getting attention now. Giving the forwards another breather. Sharp is being replaced now. He's had a tough day at the office there, Sharples, but. Seemed to go over, got over Ribolo there with a few scrum penalties. Bit of debate going on there in the forward pack. Kyle Burnett just telling him to get on with it. Scrum down. Fed in there by Ross. Picked up the back there. Pass to Ross. Puts it on the boot. Itty chasing. Wapiri running back for Cottesloe. Fields it. Ross makes a tackle. Itty. Itty. Cottesloe playing in their own in goal and taken down. Five metre scrum. Cottesloe taking it back. First real opportunity to attack off a scrum today for Netherlands. Let's see what they can do here. The front rower in me would love to see a push over try, but I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Shimming it making his way in slowly. Looks like Shimming has moved to loose head now from Walker. Donald here on the right line with Perry in front of him. Which way are they going to go? Yeah. 
Solid scrum by Netherlands. They're going forward. Ball's out, spills out the back there. McKella cleans it up. Taken there by Cottesloe. Forwards rushing back. Sankey. Offside advantage here. Netherlands play with it here. Tap and go. Big Siffer having a run. And he's over on debut. Siffer. Melly Siffer. Netherlands have a little bit to cheer about for a minute there. It's a good try by Siffy, who's been sold in the scrums. Good reward for him. It's good to see a couple of props scoring today. I think when Siffa calls uh, back to his family in the Waikato, they'll be saying he ran in from the 22. We'll see what happens there. Big man like that's unstoppable from five metres out. Braden Lang, another shot at goal. About 15 metres out, almost directly in front of the post. Having a bit of trouble there with the wind on the tee there. Might need uh, strength and conditioning coach Keith Brady to hold it there for him. <laughs> Having real trouble here with the wind. Time's ticking. He's got 90 seconds to kick. Kyle Burnett gives him the hurry up. A little bit of ball moving off T, but Lang still puts it over there. Takes the scores to 46-14. Can't be too much time left. We're into injury time now. Easton to take the restart duties again. Sankey underneath it, well taken there. Siffer was lifting him up in support there. Netherlands get there to support, Lang calls for it. Shifts it off to Rabolo. Put in a solid shift today. Lang comes around the corner. Skip pass out, oh, taken. Man shot out of line from Cottesloe. I can't see what number that was. Forced the error. Read the play well, put on a massive hit. Zietzman very slow to get up there. I think it was the winger Faree there. Big hit there. I think uh, the referee's just called last play here. So Cotters will have one more roll of the dice to see if they can extend their lead. Drummond having a look at what his options are. Drummond feeds it in. Comes out the back there. Hunt Hat goes himself. Oh, sorry, Easton goes himself there. Kalis coming around the corner. Solid run into Itty. Drummond comes back. Sh short side. The replacement prop. Oh, Mikey Walker iron out his second try there. Ball towed ahead by Robson. Over the ball there. Unlucky not to get the steal there. Cottesloe come away with it. Solid run there, but I'll stare it there. Ball fed out wide here. Kalis lurking on the wing, doesn't quite get to him. Faulkner calling for it here, no. And there's blo offside, penalty here, the offside. Cotters are at the ruck there. The See what Netherlands are going to do here. Are they going to have a play or are they going to tap and kick it out? It's been a tough day at the office for Netherlands today. Cotters are really shaping up with Premiership contenders with this big win today. Going for one last opportunity here. Line out five metres in from in their own in their attacking half. Chairman throw the ball in. 
Another five man line out. Sankey, another line out win. Gets it out. Pessy getting the ball at, at speed. And he's pieces through. Beats a few defenders. Still going. Oh, unlucky not to get the ball there to Itty. Knock on advantage there. Pass didn't quite go to hand there to the speedster. He's still got it. Got an opportunity though with Piri. Still going with Piri. Oh, big hit there. Amaru Itty. Counter ruck is good there. Got his load. Didn't come in through the gate. Tobias Hossens penalised. Massive hit by Mariti. Quick tap there. Sipper. Beats a couple. Gets the offload. Ball spills behind. Knock on there by Cottesloe. Knock on. That's full time, guys. And that'd be full time there. Cole Burnett blowing his whistle. Fantastic game by Cottesloe there. 46 to 14 against Nedlands. They're going to be ones to stop this year. They've made a big statement. See if they can carry on for the rest of the season. Thank you for joining us today. It was a pleasure calling this game and hopefully see you all again next week. Thank you very much.